We're back. We're live from the Mutant Booth 2015 FIBO. Big Ron Parlor for Mutant Nation here. Uh, all you guys around the world that are watching live, we really appreciate it. You know, we like to kind of bring you guys into the booth. You know, you can't travel all around the world, you know. And uh, we got the Mutant Squad, and we're going to say hi to you guys and the troops. You know, thanks to everyone that's pumping out Instagram and all that stuff. So Mutant Squad, the Mutant Troops, thanks a lot. And uh, we got to also want to say hi to the athletes that aren't here. You know, we got uh, a lot of guys that can't go to every show. So, you know, you know who you are. You're going to get to go to the other shows. But uh, we're thinking about you. We're training hard for you. And we're going to introduce you to our new brand ambassador. He's been on the team since about January, I think we brought him on. He was like the first guy I brought on when I came into to the office. Well, we got Carl Anderson from Sweden. You guys know him as the Instagram freak, Carlito Triple XL. How's it going, my friend? Fine, thank you. Yeah, it's good to have you on, man. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm glad you could make it to FIBO. You know, Thanks. it wasn't the plan, no. but the way it worked out, we needed to bring someone and you wanted to come and, yeah. and here you're here helping out. You're selling t-shirts and taking pictures yeah. with people. You know, you having fun? A really fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, how many times have you been to FIBO before? This is the first time I'm in FIBO. Yeah. First time at FIBO. Yeah. What do you think? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how do you feel about the response from the fans seeing you here? A lot of people saying, oh, you're Carlito. Yeah. I love to meet all the people. It's uh, really fun to meet people. And uh, when they come and say, oh, are you from Instagram? Uh, oh, yeah, it's me. Like, you know, it, it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, you've, uh, you, you know, you, you were popular and had a lot of followers already. Yeah. But since you've joined Mutant Nation, you've gotten bigger, more yeah. people following yeah. you. You get a lot of comments. You know, uh, what do people say when they see you in person? They want to see my calves. They are <laughs> like, I want to see your calves. I want to see your calves. You know. And, <laughs> and and you're and you're not you're wearing tights, so you're kind of showing them. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna wear shorts on day four. I think so. Yeah. You slowly work it up. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so let's see the calves. Let's, can you roll those up. Roll those suckers up. Let's show people one of those. Can't even get them up. Don't rip them. Hey, look at those. Jeez. Turn around and give them a back one. There we go. Crunch. Yeah, those are that We call in Canada, we don't call those calves. We call them cows. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Full-grown cows. So, yeah, Carlito's packing some muscle, and uh, he's helping out the booth. It's been a lot of fun. But one thing I want to talk to you about is uh, how long you've been training, how you got into bodybuilding. I've been training now for like six years, and uh, yeah, that's when I started. And, and what made you want to start training? I feel very skinny, so I want to be bigger, you know, and uh, yeah, I started to train and it was really fun, and uh, I keep going since that. Now, how long did it take you before you realized that you had good genetics and you were putting muscle on faster than most guys? It took me like five or six months to see uh, that I grow very fast and uh, yeah. And then the other guys in the gym started saying, hey. Yeah, my friends and uh, people at the gym was like, oh my God, you're growing like crazy, you know, and that's why, I'm, oh, I'm going to keep going, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just won some awards. Jim's showing off. We got so many awards. So, the, so you started thinking, hey, this is something I want to do. Yeah, yeah. And that meant mo more motivation just comes from that. Yeah. Exactly. Now, I, uh, I know a lot of people ask what you do in the gym. Yeah. Because they write on the Instagram, what yeah. does he do to those legs? What does he do to those arms, you know? So yeah. why don't you describe, you know, everyone wants to know, like, do you squat 600 pounds or do you do 315 for sets of 20? Like, what type of training do you do? Many people think I'm doing, going really heavy, you know, uh, but I like going for the contraction, the pump, and I do a lot of rep repetitions. Uh, when I do squats, I do like 20 to 25 repetitions, but very easy weight and slowly and really squeeze at the top, you know. And same with the calves. People ask, oh, you need to go really heavy. That's not the key to get the big calves. To get the key for me is to do a lot of repetition, go for the pump, feel the contraction, and feel that really squeezing up at the top, at the top of the exercise, you know. Right, right, right. So how many, let's, uh, let's say a typical leg workout for you. If you're going in to hit your quads, how many sets do you do? What exercises do you do? I do like four uh, sets of uh, 
squats, four sets of uh, leg press, four sets of uh, leg kicks, and like uh, four sets for the hamstrings. You know. So very simple. Yeah, I keep Nothing it Nothing fancy, no. no magic exercises. No. No, no. <laughs> so out of the four sets of each exercise, how many sets are like really hard to failure? I always go to failure. Um, when I go to the gym, and when I come into the door from the gym, I always go to failure. That's my... So yeah. you're not counting your warm-ups? No. Oh, so it's four hard sets? Yeah, four hard so sets. So you might, you might do a couple warm-ups before that? No, I never do warm-ups. You know? I go directly <laughs> to the exercise and start to crush it, you know. I guess because you're doing higher reps, Yeah. so you don't need to warm up as much. Exactly, because I get the pump very fast and uh, I get the contact in the muscle, so I don't need to do, you know, right. the warm-up. Yeah. If you were doing like like 500-pound squats, you'd have to warm up, warm up, warm yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. right. yeah, exactly. But when you're doing sets of 25, the first set, you can yeah. go right to failure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So what are your plans now? I mean, you did an NPC show yeah. uh, last year, kind of got your feet wet. Yeah, I did an NPC show. I won my light, light heavyweight and I won the overall title. And what was the name of that show? Uh, NPC West Coast Classic. It's a Lonnie Tepe show. Okay. Uh, very good show and yeah, Lonnie Tepe is a great guy and yeah. Okay, so now what's the goal? Uh, my goal now... Uh, it's very hard to tell, you know. I'm looking for a round for the competitions, and uh, yeah, we will see what we see what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So you see yourself bodybuilding for a long time, getting really huge. Yeah, I'm gonna get really, really <laughs> huge. That's my goal. <laughs> well, you're only 26, right? Yeah, 26 years old. So you got lots of time. Yeah. To get really, really <laughs> huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Mutant Nations uh, really welcomed you in. All the fans have been going yeah. crazy over your pitchers. And uh, why don't you hit a few shots for the crowd? Just hit a front yeah, double. Sure. Maybe the guys at home something. Bang, there we go. <laughs> he's packing the guns and he's got the cows and he's got the quads. Um, now, one more thing I gotta ask yeah. you before we go. Give everybody at home yeah. a couple of tips how to get better Instagram pictures. Because you take some freaky, yeah. you get the angle just right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about where your light, where the light is. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the best light where I got to <laughs> snap the shots. And, uh, <laughs> but you're good at it, man. Because yeah, yeah. you light the pictures up pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you work on that? You take about 20 and then you pick the best one? I do like everybody else, you know. I think pick the best one of everybody <laughs> for all pictures. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well... You guys know him as Carlito Triple XL. Carl Anderson from Sweden, our, our brand ambassador over here. It's good to have you here. I'm glad you made Thank it to FIBO. I'm glad it worked out. You know, it's been, uh, been good to meet you. We Thank still you. haven't trained together. Yeah, we Didn't you that. train with someone? Yeah, I trained with Manuel. You and Manny hit a workout, yeah. eh? It's it a really, really good workout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's fun to train with. Yeah. You know, he trains smart, trains hard. Yeah, he showed me you some uh, exercises, and uh, yeah, it was really fun, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to call Manny over here. Hey, Manuel. Manuel. Come on over here, buddy. <laughs> it's, uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you hear him? Make sure it's on here. Yeah, it should be good. It's all good. So uh, Carlito trained with you the other day. He said that was pretty exciting. Yeah, so I can say he, he, he take care of himself a lot. He's 20, 26 years old, and I remember when, when I had 26, I was very excited about weights, about Ronnie Coleman style workout. That was really crazy. I, I, I tried to see my form that time, but I never was like so perfect. I just want to move the weight. Right. But him, for his age now, is, is doing really well. Um, that will keep him healthy throughout all this work. This, his road to his pro car. So he's on the right track. Yeah, he's in the right track for sure. Because one thing I've learned over all the years I've been training is it doesn't matter how hard you train, you can't get big if you're hurt. Yeah, exactly. So we got to be smart and he is already. So he take care of himself. He trying hard for real. I try hard with him, but the good thing is he don't put in rich his joints. So. Right. That's the good, the good part is everything. Yeah, you bet, man. Yeah. Well, Manny, say hi to Mutant Nation. Is there anything you want to say to the fans at home? Hey, Mutant Nation, 
trying hard, but be smart at the same time, okay? You want to get like this guy here, 26 years old, 100 kilograms pounds, so look at him very well, okay? <laughs> Carlitos, <laughs> triple XL. <Yeah. laughs> uh, thanks, Manny. Thank <laughs> yeah, now both of these guys are going to be a body power. Carlitos going to be helping out as well. And uh, Manny will be there, of course. He goes everywhere. So you guys come to Body Power and check it out if you're, you're going to be nearby. We're going to bring uh, Big Trevor Coot over. Thanks, Carlito, Thank you, for man. coming on, man. You know Thank what I mean? You. So go have some more fun and take some more yeah. pictures. Thank you. Okay, you just uh, hand me that headset. There you go. Oh, just unclip. We'll get uh, Trevor Coot over here. Coot! When you're ready. Hey, Trevor. How you doing, man? Good. Just want a quick minute to Mutant Nation. I know the fans are waiting for you. Get that. Are, are they waiting? Yeah, you always got fans I, waiting. I can't imagine they are. <laughs> so what do you want to say to the guys at home watching live? Oh, man, just having a blast. You know, I, I guess to the, guys, to the people at home, if you ever get a chance to get to FIBO, it's, it's a phenomenal time. You've been you to know? the Arnold. You've been to the Olympia. Yeah, for me, you know, for, for us as athletes, we come, we see the booth, we see the entrance and we see the path to the washroom. Yeah. So it could be here. I mean, this, this event could be anywhere and it's the exact same experience for us. Right. But I do know that the experience for everybody else, you can just tell that it's, it's been a phenomenal time and, and the, the fans are great here. It's just been a blast. Yeah. You yeah. Bet. Plus, it's kind of neat to walk past that 800 year old church every day on the way to the gym. Right. Oh, I thought you were going to say the, the one booth on the oh, way to right, the bathroom. Right, right, right. Yeah, I probably yeah. walked by it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, there's some cool scenery here, so that's a cool thing about Germany. You know what? It, it, again, we come here to work. We uh, This is what we're here for. We're here for the fans. We're here to do this. Um, but the, the added bonus is exactly like you say, just to get to, get those those spectacles and, and enjoy, the, enjoy the other things yeah. too. Yeah, you bet. We're going yeah. right. to bring, uh, you could send Johnny Jackson over. He just went around the corner there. Around? Yeah, you bet. So, uh yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's the crazy day here. Everything's going really fast. we got product flying off the shelves. We're probably going to run out of stuff by about month, early Sunday or something like that. <laughs> Ryan's giving me signals and mouth and words. But it's, uh, we're going to bring Johnny Jackson on. Going to have just a quick hello from Johnny. Oh. Hold on. Give him a second. Okay. Yeah, we're flying here with product. And just to let everybody know, you know, like, what he said about the path to the washroom yeah it literally has to be that because this is the busiest day at a trade show in the entire industry yeah okay put all of them together that's how many people are here yeah and just to give people an idea it, it we'll get a few different angle shots i'm sure you guys uh, you know different parts of the show here but you'll see the people you can't see anything and i know we talk about that at the arnold but this is a different level oh there he uh, is I was trying to listen in to all this good uh, information that was going on. We just want to bring you on for a minute, Sad, a mutant nation. Tell them what your house feeble is going so far. Hey, boom. Still got it, baby. They let you in the country with those every year. <laughs> every you must year. know somebody. It's not illegal to carry guns. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm really excited because later on this afternoon, I'm having you on again for a good chat. And we're bringing on, I think, kind of. Buddy, brother, what is he? Yeah, but let's get back to talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be on and uh, looking good. Look, look at that side profile. You might, what? You might bring a friend on. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to bring my brother from another mother. Yeah, uh, there you um, go. Matter of fact. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to gear up and uh, we got some good and interesting interesting things for Mutant Nation uh, today. So make sure you stay tuned and you all stay tuned. And uh, at about 2.30? I'll, I'll try and pay attention to what's going on, too. I'll stay tuned. How's that? Yeah, you always pay attention, baby. <laughs> okay. You, you're, you're running things over here, so we're, we're in good hands. It's all an illusion, John. We're all in good hands. <laughs> Thanks, Mutant Nation. Thanks, everybody at FIBO. we got another live episode coming up later. Johnny Jackson and Branch Warren coming on live. I'll be back. <laughs>